Some of the most classic films showcase the prehistoric past. For generations, filmgoers have been inspired by the awe of a long gone era. However, there is one film glossed over by many beyond the country of its inception. Created by the innovative Czechoslovakian filmmaker Karol Zeman, Sesta do Praveku, also known as Journey to the Beginning of Time, was made during the era of the 1950s when dinosaurs were used as monster movie gimmicks. However, Zeman's film showcased dinosaurs and many other prehistoric creatures living in their natural habitats as we simply view their drama play before us. We are largely just along for the ride in what could be considered one of the greatest films about prehistory ever made. The film's adventure takes four boys along a river that mysteriously takes them back into time. The further down the river they go, the further back in time they are. The simple premise of the film allows it to become a showcase of environments, creatures, and dilemmas of the past in a way that was incredibly accurate for the time it was made. Zayman used a variety of different special effects in unique combinations, including stop-motion animation, puppets, miniatures, matte paintings, and even superimposed traditional animation. In a time before any computers were used for films, he used all the tricks of the trade instead to sell the ultimate illusion that we were being transported back to an era long before any of us. Despite the outdated uses of technology and the now inaccurate portrayals of some of its science, the film is still an engaging adventure, feeling at times like a Jules Verne-inspired fantasy. We follow the boys as they become engrossed in the environments of the past luring them in around every river bend. There is no worry about getting home, no real tension between the characters. Their only concern is being able to continue down the river to explore as much of the past as possible, taking in every detail available to them. This exploratory nature of the film makes it feel like a documentary at times with the river adventure merely used as the guiding force. Sesta do Praveku, in its original Czechoslovakian version of the film, became a classic in its native country. While it had success outside of it, the film only became known in the United States during the 1960s, an entire decade later. It was during this time that the film was dubbed in English and re-edited by an American company. Additionally, the film had new footage shot to book in this version, featuring actors that had similar likenesses to the boys at the Museum of Natural History in New York. Apart from its theatrical run, the film was also cut up into a serialized form on the popular children's program at the time, Garfield Goose and Friends. 
Known in this edited form as Journey to the Beginning of Time, it is still essentially the same adventure. The English dubbing is much more animate in comparison to the subdued nature of the original voices. Fellas, I know it sounds crazy, but the last mammoth died 10,000 years ago. This one must have been preserved in ice. He escaped when it thawed. Mm-hmm, and where did all that ice come from? What do you mean? Ben, the mammoth lived just before the Ice Age. You mean we're going back in time? That's impossible. Tell that to the mammoth. Když jsme se utábořili, mluvilo se jen o mamutovi, hlavně Jirka. To bylo něco jiného než kostra v muzeu. To bylo živé, skutečné zvíře. První, které jsme v pravěku uviděli. The beginning is completely different as well as the ending. The latter contrives a reason for the adventure taking place that didn't need to be there, as well as a sudden religious commentary that was not present earlier. Despite this, most of this film's edit largely respects the original cut, apart from some omissions of the Czech language inserts of a diary and a few minor moments and shots here and there. However, there are some interesting details that make this version of the film unique, including moments of additional music that were originally meant to be part of the film. The original cut of the film, with its original voices, is definitely the superior version of the film and should be the first watched. However, there was still an audience that grew up with the English dubbed version, including a brief run it had on VHS in the 1990s. It is also still an important version that helped get it more well known to Western audiences that otherwise would have never heard of it. Despite the film's classic nature and general high praise, it is still largely missed when people discuss dinosaur-related films. That's why Criterion's Blu-ray release of Journey to the Beginning of Time, along with two additional fantastic Zayman films in their box set, is so monumental. It is finally available to a wider audience and looks better than it ever has in a 4K restoration. Their release features the original cut of the film and an HD reconstruction of the English dubbed version that I personally assisted with. Both versions of the film are also available to stream on their Criterion channel. For people outside North America, a region-free Blu-ray from Second Run was previously released. However, keep in mind that despite also featuring an English dub reconstruction, Second Run uses a VHS source instead of an actual film print that Criterion later gained access to. The film print on the Criterion release is monumental for having additional English dub dialogue that was somehow cut from the VHS source. Ahead would be the Paleozoic era, the ancient life of our planet. Ahead would be the Paleozoic era, the ancient life of our planet. 
what we would find there was anybody's guess. Finally, everyone can properly experience one of the greatest films about prehistory ever made and embark on a classic adventure through time, the ever-flowing river. Thank you.